Welcome to how to set up and operate the Baofeng UV5R transceiver, a tutorial for newcomers to ham radio, scanning, and transceivers. This is part three, how to change settings. Now, after the first two episodes of this tutorial, you can begin to customize the UV5R to your specific needs. There are 40, count them, 40 different menu items which affect how the radio functions. Some are essential only if you are licensed to transmit. Many of the default options will not need to be changed. And there are a few that can make a big difference for any user. Pressing the menu key once will enter the menu mode, allowing the up and down keys to scroll through the 40 menu option items. If no keys are pressed after 5 seconds, the radio exits from menu mode. It's in menu mode now. If I do nothing, after about 5 seconds, it will exit. I found it helpful to think of the menu key as a confirm key. Pressing the menu key once opens the menu. Thereafter, the menu key is used to confirm whatever changes you make. The basic operation of using the menu key consists of the following. Press once to enter menu mode. Scroll up or down to the desired menu op option. Press menu again to open that menu item. Scroll up or down to view the, the choices or the options for that menu item. Choose one of the option, options and press menu to confirm. And then press exit. That's it. Menu, scroll up or down. Menu, scroll up or down. Menu to confirm and exit. Menu scroll, menu scroll, menu exit. Once a menu item's settings have been confirmed by pressing the menu key, you don't necessarily have to press exit. Instead, you can scroll up or down to another menu item. Press menu to open that item, make changes, press menu to confirm and repeat. For example, menu. Scroll up to an item you want to change. Menu again to open that. Make some changes. Confirm. And immediately scroll up to another menu option to work on. Menu to open that item. Scroll for the different options. Menu. And then scroll to another option. Or press exit. If you do press exit, the radio will remember the most recent menu item you had open. Pressing the menu key will open that most recent menu item. We last accessed the TXP option. If I go to another option, say the squelch, and I exit on it, the next time I press menu, it should go back to that squelch option. There is a shortcut method of using the menu key. Immediately after pressing the menu key, enter the option number of the menu item you wish to change. There are 40 menu items, num beginning with 0 and ending with 40. For example, the menu item for voice is 14. To open the voice menu item in order to change from Chinese to English, you would follow this key press sequence. Menu, 14, menu. That would be menu, 1, 4, menu. Once you're in this menu option, you can scroll up or down to see the choices, Chinese, off, or English. We we'll choose English and confirm with menu. It's important that you enter two digits for the menu item you wish to open, even if the menu item number is a single digit. For example, the menu item number for changing the transmit power level is 2. 
to open that menu item, you could follow this key press sequence. Menu, zero to menu. Menu, menu. zero to menu. Power. Now you're in the trans transmit power level option. If I exit and then press menu again, it should go back to that TXP option. Menu. And notice the number two showing that this is option number two. I'm going to go to another option and then exit to there because I want to show you that you can get to that option number two just by pressing the single number two. Option menu. two Power. menu or menu to menu. So you can get to this option. You don't have to enter 0, 2. But I found a glitch in the system that could cause some confusion. Let me show you how it could happen. I'm going to exit. And if I press menu, menu. it goes back to that TXP. But if I weren't paying any attention and I entered the single digit number two again, two. I waited too long. Menu, menu two. Notice what it did. It's going to a different option. It confused that single number two with the 22 option, number 22. And that happened because I just entered the single digit number two. It's easy to confuse the software. so. I've tried to make it a habit of looking at the display, first of all, and see if it's already menu. back to the option I wanted to go to. I want to go to option two, and it's not there, so I should be able to pr press menu, menu. to menu, Power. and it goes back there. If I do it again, menu to menu, menu yeah. to menu. It goes back to option 22. If I do it a third time, menu, menu. to menu. Power. It does go back to the one I wanted, option number two, the transmit power level. What's happening? I think the radio is programmed to remember the last menu item accessed, but by entering the single digit, two, when the display is already showing menu item number two, the software mistakes option 22 for option two. Then the third instance in some way resets the software confusion and allows the radio to correctly open menu item number two. So my recommendation is to make a habit of always entering two digits for the menu item number. It will save you some frustration. Let's practice. Change the voice to English. That's option number 14. Menu. Menu. One, four, menu. Voice prompt. Scroll to English. Confirm with menu. Confirm. Exit. Change the transmit power level. That's option number zero two. Menu. menu. Zero two. Menu. Power. Scroll through and let's stop at low and confirm with menu. Confirm. Exit. One more. Change the squelch level. Menu. That squelch level is option zero zero. Menu, menu, zero, zero, menu. Squelch. Now you can scroll. Let's set it to squelch of one. Menu to confirm. Confirm. Exit. Good work. My name is Milt, and this has been How to Set Up and Operate the Baofeng UV5R Transceiver. Until next time, keep looking up.